Hey guys, it's your boy Arson again back in the video today hey guys. I have a full guide uh, about the corrector rule. Basically, this is the easiest rule in this game, but some of you may uh, out there has some problem with it and I'm gonna guide, gonna guide guide you guys through this. So first of all as always uh, Let's take a look at the uh, progress like what you will get uh, when leveling up this rule so Level one. There's nothing like imp uh, like important. Some clothing items. The two thing important right here is the shovel and the metal detector. The rest is like cosmetics and saddles and this is, this is as well refined binoculars. Three, sorry. But it's not like the refined binoculars are not like important as met uh, metal detector and the shovel. So if this is a choice that if you guys want to get it, you guys can get it. It's a cosmetic upgrade for your horse lantern. So that's the two thing I want to go. Uh, I want to show you which level that cost us you. Uh, what level was that? The shovel you can get it right away, and the metal detector you have to be rank uh, five, I guess. Yeah, rank five. So once you guys have, have, once you guys have reached like five, it's the easiest way to like level up then. So once you guys got the collector bag and the, you guys gonna go buy, you guys can buy the metal detector and the shovel from here. Some shady weapons, tools. Like you guys can see, I bought all the tools. I don't know why, but I bought it. <laughs> A refined bone binoculars about that as well material detector about that as well and the shovel about that as well so now uh, you guys don't need the mops don't go out there buy the mops don't do that that's just gonna waste your money uh, uh, basically I will link a go map down below this is a uh, like uh, map that you guys can like uh, get the all the collectibles and uh, see the locations of the collectibles and the uh, description uh, leads you like guides you where collectible is so so yeah let's jump into it so guys the first thing we are going to talk about is the wildflowers so you guys can get the wildflowers uh, but some of them has a uh, time like uh, you guys can only get it at night or the morning it's kind of like a pain in the ass uh, collectible that you guys cannot get right away you guys have to be on this uh, certain time to collect it and there's a flower right here in the go map I can see and if you turn on eagle eye I can see it's right over there so let's go collect that so this is basically like wild flower there's a lot of like collectibles that you can collect as well and there's like my controller is still vibrating that means this, there is another collectible right as well I think it's a tarot card because ter tarot card is like the most common one common one sorry I think it's in the house so you guys have to just neg navigate through everything I told you guys the tarot card there you go on the tarot card examine it put it back there you go got all the collectibles easy as that but still there's one more collectibles like you guys can get collectibles like this you guys will go after one collectible you will see uh, three collectibles in this case are right here so where just next collectible is I have to navigate I use the house as well uh, biscuit I'll take that cigarettes which collectible can be a comb it's a comb <laughs> So there we go, we got three collectibles and one. So that's basically the thing. You have to go out in the world and collect uh, collectibles. It's the easiest rule like guys, but some of you may have the problem. Uh, may have the problem with this collector rule. And basically what you guys need to do to boost up your uh, payout is get the shovel. Uh, metal detector we will get through that in a moment but we'll uh, so now we will go after some terror cards as you guys can see terror card always spawns in the houses and it never spawns on the ground so that that's what you guys have to keep in your mind it never spawns in the ground it will always spawn on the tables on inside the house it will 
basically never spawn in the ground that's that's what i'm trying to say okay so the next collectible will be jewelry lost jewelry lost jewelry bracelets uh, earrings necklace rings and the other uh, there's only that uh, bracelet earring necklace rings that's that's it I told you guys the easiest roll that you guys can get and you guys can make a lot of money by this but sometimes it could get boring but could, it got boring for me at some point but I left it now I'm back collecting some collectibles the other one is right here so what you guys can do like is go to cinematic mode and like press X and let your controller to go there and you guys have to like if you want to go get something from your kitchen or you guys want to go to the toilet you can go it's the easiest one basically it doesn't require as much time as not as much not requires as, not too much attention as well so yeah and uh, jewelry which are we are going after right now it can spawn uh, underground or in cupboards or drawers and everything in houses it's basically it. and if you have a friend friends could, could be useful to you at this point but i have i have friends but they don't play uh, this game so yeah so in this character uh, in this location as you guys can see it's uh, you guys have to have the metal detector if you guys don't know, if you guys don't have the metal detector, you cannot, cannot take this. So it should be right over here. Yeah, dig. Now you'll dig it out and take it. That's easy. While this digging, you guys can go on the map and like mark another location. There is a collectible. I'm not gonna mark it because I'm trying to show you guys how to do it the fastest and the easiest one. The easiest way, sorry. And the uh, next thing is alcohol bottles, unique alcohol bottles, and there's uh, one right over here, so we will go there. Don't do that. I don't want to go there. And alcohol bottle is same as like the tarot cards. It cannot spawn underground or on ground. It will always spawn on tables and drawers and uh, cupboards. They will always spawn there. It cannot spawn on ground or underground. So don't worry about that. Having a shovel or metal detector. Basically, this, the, this rule has been easy, uh, but uh, Rockstar is deciding to ch uh, add some changes to this rule, so grind some money as you can, because they will change it, I don't know, they will nerf it, or they will make it harder, I'm sure. They will make harder uh, for you to get money in this roll, basically. Ouch! And her do as you can see the more alcohol bottle is in this house if you turn on your vision you guys can see it's right over here in this cupboard thing to me daddy. and if you have uh, there's I think six deal cycles if you guys uh, do your uh, collectibles too much you will learn every location of the collectibles easily and you will know like where the uh, collectibles are and you will go right away and get it and the next thing will be bird eggs bird eggs can spawn on trees and i think they will all spawn on trees let me mark this location and for bird eggs you will always need a varmint rifle Warmer rifle is the best. You, uh, I think you can use small head arrows as well, but I'm not sure about that. So we have reached a location. It's right over here, right over there. Sorry. And actually, I have I have searched it in Google, and you guys can use small head arrows to knock down those nests. What you guys do is like knock that nest down, and the egg will fall. 
You have to go and grab that egg. Easy as that. So the next thing will be arrowheads. Arrow. Um, I only like if you guys haven't watched my videos. I only do like lost jewelry and coins. That's the most that pays you out. Um, that pays you out really good, basically. Join the thing. So now let's go mark this location. Now it is going to be right over here. Oops, let me do that. Right over here. Okay. Now let's head to that location. While we're going there, yeah, let's talk about the arrowheads. Arrowheads can spawn. Uh, I think it always spawns on the underground because I never went. Uh, for arrowheads basically I always will go with uh, lost jewelry and coins like I told you guys but I w sometimes when I started the strolls I used to go with the eggs and the tarot cards and the wild flowers and this one is spawned in the ground as well so you will need a shovel or a metal detector in this case where is this Nope, not that way. Nope. There you guys saw. Like, I... Uh, did you guys see like how I navigated like where the collectible is that's how you guys are going to do it there you go I found the arrowhead as well now a family uh, like the chrome things I showed you guys how to get it uh, I think it only spawns uh, on tables and cupboards always in houses that's underground. so coins always spawns underground you guys director for the coins always I will show you guys one coin location which is right over here let's head there quickly horsey let's go so we are here guys and you guys can see it always spawns underground you guys always need a metal detector for this to get the coins so that's it basically for all the collectibles and that's it so this is the end of the video guys so that's the end of the video if you guys if this video is helpful to you guys make sure to drop a like subscribe turn on notification and that's it for me peace out